Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this Catching Waves crop top. Um, this top is made using the wavy crochet stitch and we're making two separate panels, then sewing them together, and then we're going to make this bottom band. And you can actually make this as long as you want. I made it a crop top style, but you can make this um, however long you want just by following the tutorial instructions. Um, all the written instructions for this project are linked in the description of this video, so you can check it out on yarnutopia.com. But this design is so super fabulous. I'll get into the supplies and then we'll get into the asked, uh, frequently asked questions and then we'll get into making this piece. So I am going to be using Knit Crate Yarns actually sent me this yarn. I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can get this yarn because I actually lost the label mid-project, so sorry about that. But you can use any, you know, worsted weight yarn. Um, this is a blend yarn of a wool and something else. But uh, you can use, like, any soft yarn. It's very much equivalent to... Uh, baby soft yarn, um, something like uh, even a Red Heart Super Saver, but maybe a Caron Simply Soft, or um, thinking like a Brava yarn um, that is a worsted weight. Uh, Arian might be a little too thick. You could go down to a fingering weight. And this is a really it's a versatile, repeatable pattern, so you can make this as big or small as you want just by increasing or decreasing your rows, um, and you can go off of measurements. So once we get into the tutorial, I highly suggest you watch the whole thing and then make your project just so that you know for how much yarn you're going to need. I used two full balls of yarn, and I had literally none left. Like, this is... <laughs> the strand that was left at the very end so I almost lost to yarn chicken but I won that battle so that was great uh, but this project I'm going to be using an H size crochet hook that is five millimeters this crochet hook is from the Etsy shop would be fancy if you like the crochet hooks I use in my tutorials then I suggest you go to that shop and get your crochet hook like this there are ergonomically hand-cut wooden handled crochet hooks. They're very lightweight and they are fixed into the wooden handle so you can get a whole set if you want and it just works out really nice to crochet for longer periods of time without getting a cramp in your hand. The thicker handle is much better to use so I highly suggest going to Would Be Fancy on Etsy and getting yourself these crochet hooks for the like, get a whole set. They're amazing. Um, but we're using the H hook for this project. You can use use a G hook as well, uh, but I wouldn't go to an I hook just because the holes in this, in the wavy part, get kind of open and you don't obviously want your shirt to be open or see-through. So there are some holes, so I would suggest wearing a shirt underneath this or lining your shirt if you are, uh, you know, obviously knowledgeable in lining shirts, but I'm not. I'm just gonna wear a shirt underneath it. <laughs> Um, you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle as well just to cut your yarn and sew in some ends and sew things together. So we sew this seam and then the back side you sew that seam and then we're going to sew up the sides uh, as well to close and make smaller armholes so they are tighter around the shoulder and armpit area. So those are all the supplies you're going to need, really. Um, but like I said, you can make this as big or small as you want it to be. Um, this is a repeat pattern, so we're making the two panels and then sewing them together and then making the belly band bottom part here. And you can make this longer if you want to. But this took two full balls of the yarn, so um, you might need an extra ball of yarn if you're going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, that's just my suggestion. If you have any questions or get stuck in this pattern anywhere, just leave a comment. Let me know your questions. I'll try to get back to you on YouTube, but also you can message me um, through email or on the Facebook page or wall in the group, Yarn Utopia World on Facebook. Or hit me up on Instagram, wherever. You know, I'm everywhere. <laughs> so all the links are in the description of this video. Um, before we begin, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And let's get started and make this Catchin' Waves crop top. Okay, to start off, we are going to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end. Then fold this down and pull your long end through that loop and then pull tight. 
and there is your slip knot. And now we can insert our hook and begin. So to start off, you can chain any multiple of 12 and then add three more chains at the end. I'm going to chain 111. So that's 108 is a multiple of 12 plus three is 111. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three. I won't make you watch me chain that many. So I'm just gonna chain um, 111 and I'll be right back. So I've chained the amount that I need, okay? And now what we're going to do is work into this chain here. And we are going to put two double crochets in the third chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook does not count as anything, so count one, two, and three. This chain right here. And what I personally like to do is just turn the chain toward me. And I like to work in these like back ridges here, just like this. So yarn over, go into the third chain, one, two, three. And we're going to put two double crochets. So go in, yarn over, pull through yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we have two double crochets in that third chain from the hook. Now we're going to double crochet into the next five chains. Just put one double crochet in each of the next five. Okay, so one, next one, oopsie, I just like to use the back ridge as the loop, just like that. Okay, so here's two, next chain, don't worry, after row one it gets way easier, <laughs> it's kind of hard to find the stitches here, there we go, okay, there's three, Four, and five. And we're going to skip the next chain, okay? And we are going to, my yarn's tangled here, hang on. Um, we're going to skip one chain and then double crochet into the next five. So skip this one, go into this next one here, and double crochet in those five chains. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now instead of skipping this next chain, we're actually going to put three stitches in this next chain. So I'm just doing a swatch for this video here so you can see my chain's a little small but so you can see here we have this next chain we're going to you can see we already started making a wave making a chevron so this is the bottom so we're going up so this next one this next chain is going to have three double crochets in it. Okay, so one, two, three. So all three of those are in that same chain right there. Okay, so now we are going to go down the wave here. One, two, three, four, five. These next five, we're going to put one double crochet in each one of those. Okay. And then we're just going to repeat, so then after this next five, we're going to skip one and then double crochet into the next five chains and then put three double crochets in the next, okay? If you need to follow along with the written pattern, you can do so. I have it written on yarnutopia.com. It's linked in the description of this video, so you can just go easy access straight to the link on my website. Um, but is just a repeat across then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's 
the repeat. It'll be more of a wave when you get more rows, but as you can see, let me lay this down. So you can see this goes down, then up to these three, then down. So now we're gonna skip one chain and then double crochet into the next five. One, two, we'll get more yarn here, <clears throat> three, four, and five, okay, so now we're up, okay, we just made a down, so now we're going up, so now this next one will have three double crochets into this chain. Okay, and then double crochet into the next five and just repeat. Okay, so once you have your wavy row one, it'll look something like this. Okay, I'll show you how to finish row one and then we'll go on to row two next. When you come up on the end, you should have one uh, chain left here. Just put two double crochets in the very last chain. One and two. Just like how we started this row, we started with two double crochets in that first chain. We're going to end with two double crochets in the last chain. Okay, so now we're going to chain two and go on to row two. Uh, your work should look something like this. Okay, so it should be up, then down, then up, then down, then up, then down, then up. You're going to end with an up, okay? Uh, this is just a swatch for the video, so make sure that you do have your chain, your 111 chains uh, from the row one. This is just a swatch for the video, but I do have my full size I'll show you later. But it's essentially the same, it's just that multiple of 12 plus 3, so you can make this as long or short as you want to fit over your shoulder for this panel. So we chained 2, and we're going to go on a row 2 now is our repeat. We are going to put 2 double crochets into the very first stitch right here. Okay, so the chain 2 does not count as anything, so do not count that as a stitch. So we're putting 2 double crochets into this very first stitch. So one and two. Okay? Then we're gonna double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Do not work into this stitch before the gap. Okay? So just count your stitches. The next one is one. The next one is two. Here's three. four, and five, okay? And then there's the gap right there, sorry. We're gonna skip these two stitches, okay? Skip this stitch before the gap and the stitch after the gap, okay? So skip these two stitches and just double crochet into the next five right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. And now you should be in the middle stitch of the three double crochet grouping. You see the three double crochet grouping here? The middle stitch right here is where the top of the uh, point is going to be on the waves here. So we're going to actually put three double crochets into that stitch. Sorry about that, my battery died. Here we go, one, two, and three. Okay, and now we are going to put one double crochet in each of the next five stitches and kind of repeat what we did. Just skip these two next stitches, then double crochet in the next five and put three in the, three double crochets in the middle double crochet of the three double crochet grouping over here. And just do that all the way across um, just make sure you're skipping both of the stitches at the base of this 
wave here. Okay, see what I mean here? Skip these two where that chain one is. I double crocheted in the five, and then you skip the two, and then you double crochet in the next five. And when you're finishing row two, we are going to put two double crochets in the very last stitch. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then this very last stitch right here, we are putting two double crochets, one and two. Just like every start of the row and every end of the row, we're putting two double crochets, okay? So now you can see that the waviness is starting to really pick up. So we're just gonna repeat row two now, chain two, turn your work, two double crochets in the first stitch, double crochet into the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, skip two stitches where this gap is, skip those two, go to the next, double crochet into the next five, one, two, three, four, five. Then put three double crochets in the middle double crochet of the three double crochet grouping. One, two, three. Okay, like this, you can see it's wavy, cool. Then double crochet in the next five, skip two, double crochet in the next five, put three double crochets in the middle double crochet of the three double crochet grouping, double crochet five, skip two, double crochet five, etc. <coughs> Continue that all the way across, and then put two double crochet in the very last stitch, and repeat. So I'll do that. We're gonna do 16 rows total, and we have to make two panels, okay? So I'm gonna do that, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I have done 16 rows total and this is how big my piece is. I'm folding it in half so you can see. This is going to be one side shoulder like this, okay? So I need you to make two of these. Um, now to fasten off, we did the last two stitches have two, or the last stitch has two double crochets in it, just like we're gonna go on to the next row. Just chain one. You can cut your yarn long for sewing, and we're gonna pull that all the way through that chain one right there, okay? And pull tight, and that's tight. So we need to make two of these total, okay? So I have another one made that I made off camera, exactly the same as this first one. <clears throat> so I'll put it right here, still attached to the there we go, yarn ball, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to fasten that one off too, and then we can use that for sewing as well. So we're actually going to flip this so they're not the same way, okay, because you can see, actually they are not, they are opposite. Okay, this is how we want it. So we want it to be opposite. Actually, let me fold it the right way. You want to fold them the right way that you want them to look, okay? So we have two of the panels done. I'm sorry, I can't zoom out much more. There we go. Okay, so as you can see <clears throat> here, this is uh, one of the panels and the other panel. We're going to fold them in half because these are going to go over the shoulders. It's going to be kind of like a V neck and V back, okay? And we are going to sew these two front pieces here and these two back pieces here, okay? So they connect and then we're gonna sew underneath the armpits down the side and then we're gonna add a belly, like a belly band coverage for the stomach area because this is just gonna come over the bust Okay, so this is going to go over the shoulder, this is the bust, 
and then we have to make a band for the belly but after we sew this together okay now you're probably wondering well this isn't lining up because these are pointed and these are apart and these are pointed and these are apart so what we're actually going to do is stretch it and sew it and once it stretches around your body it's actually not going to be that noticeable so it's going to look like this okay looks super fabulous already i just love the wavy design and you can you know sew it up however high you want the neck to be okay so i'm thinking i'll probably do like from here maybe to here and then this will be my head hole okay so to sew it together let's grab our long strand here <clears throat> I'm actually gonna flip nope I'm not gonna flip we want it opposite sorry opposites attract so we're gonna go like this and in fact since it is going that way you can cut one of the strands shorter maybe on your second piece here just cut your strand shorter And you can sew that in later <clears throat> okay so for sewing we need a yarn needle okay again I apologize that my dad is not filming me I'm trying to film myself and get this tutorial out to you so I hope that you are able to see everything that I am doing I'm going to yarn my needle with the long strand that we just cut from this piece okay you want to make sure that you fold it the right way you see the stitches here you can kind of see the stitches facing us this way and if you look at the back of your work you can't really see that those like V shapes you see the V shapes you can't see that really on the back side so make sure that you line it up <clears throat> the way you want it to be just like this and then you can decide at the front or the back later because this really is a reversible shirt. <laughs> it's not really, there's like no front or back option. Okay, so I'm going to line it up just like this. Now what I'm going to do is kind of flip this. okay so sorry about that happening uh i knocked my microphone and the sound went out so now i just shut the whole microphone off and uh we'll just use the camera microphone hope you can hear me <laughs> 
This is why I like having my dad film. I'm not so great at this. Anyways, <laughs> my forte is crochet. <laughs> um, so I've sewed up this front section here where I said I was going to end right here and I flipped it back to see where I, how it looked and this is kind of how it looks so this will be the neckline right here um, and this is the bust area okay this will go over the shoulders okay I'm thinking maybe I need to go up to here because the shoulders are pretty uh, up high and this is going to stretch so I think I'm going to sew it maybe up to here a little more Okay, and I'm just continuing to do the whip stitch. So even though the sound did go out there, you can see um, what I was doing, but I was just whip stitching just like this, sewing these two layers together. Okay, and I think I'm going to go a little bit further. You can kind of eyeball it for yourself on your piece and see how far you want you to go. Um, but I'm just going to sew up to this part. And then I'm going to turn it over and sew the back as well. And once I have these two pieces um, sewn, we're going to sew up the armpits area, underarms, on the sides of the piece. And then once those are sewn up, then we can make the bottom part which is the belly band area I don't know what else to call it belly band sounds bad but you know what I mean so I think I'm gonna go up to there let me see just uh yeah play around with it see what you like fold it lay it out make sure it is how you like it It's looking really good. I mean, I'm not upset at it. That looks pretty good. I think that's a good neckline, right? There we go. Cool. So let's do the same exact thing to the other side. So I'm just going to flip this over. Okay. Now you'll probably need... A uh, new yarn because I think I cut this one short. So to fasten off, once you have it where you want it to be, just go around in the same stitch. Okay, keep your finger in the loop. Okay, come back through the loop and pull tight, just like that. And you can do that two or three times. just like this. Cool. And then just sew in that end and that'll be hidden underneath the stitches. Okay. Now for the other side, I'm just going to sew this in real quick. Be right back. Okay, I sewed that in and cut it and you can't even tell. Sweet. So now I'm going to line this side up with this one. And actually this piece is pretty long enough. So what you want to do is just cut a long strand of yarn from your ball of yarn and just use that as your um, thing. But this is going to be a little bit more difficult since this is already sewn. So we're just going to line this up with this piece and sew it inside out if you can. And we're just going to whip stitch this side now but again don't pull this all the way through just pull it enough and then you'll be able to tie this end off when you finish um, just give it enough slack so that you can tie it in a knot later but uh, yeah just sew these two pieces together this is the back side for mine and if you want your back side to be up a little higher to cover your back you can do that as well so that your front has a lower cut your back has a higher cut and then you can distinguish which side is which when you put your shirt on. Um, so I'm going to experiment with that and sew this up and then once I have this sewn up I am going to sew up the sides. Okay so I sewed it up and I tied it off here and then I tied this, oh sorry I flipped it off camera. 
so it would be easier for me to do. I did go a little bit higher on this one, on this side, than I did for the front. Just a tad, like a half inch or so, so it's like that. And then the front is a little bit lower. And if I flip it to the front, you can kind of see. I just went like a half inch inch uh, higher than the front. Not a big difference. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so you can tie that off exactly how I showed you the front. And then this straggler, I just tied it a knot with the other straggler that was there. But you can tie it off and sew it in. Uh, kind of like how I showed you that. And now, um, so I have to sew those in later. But I decided as I was making this and sewing it together that I'm going to leave the armholes. And if I want to sew them later, I will. But I'm going to make the belly band bottom part first and see how far I get on that. Because that's going to be closed on the side that maybe it'll look good if I just left this completely open. Nice little fashion statement of showing the side there. Otherwise, if I don't like it, I can sew it up later and leave just a smaller armhole. Um, but we'll decide that as it comes. So let's just do the belly band part, the bottom of this first. So what I'm going to do is flip this up like this and we're going to start on this piece here in this corner. Okay, so take it, you can even straighten it out, whatever. We're just going to start right here. And I'm going to insert my hook right here. Okay, and this is kind of a wherever your hook fits kind of thing <laughs> is where you're going to put the stitches, okay? Um, and I'll have to let you know how many stitches I do around but I'm guessing it'll be, let's see here, about a hundred and, let's see here, 30, 60, 72. It'll probably be like 70, between 72 and 80. I'll probably try to do 80 stitches around if I can. Um, or maybe more because it'll be, let's see here, 16 times 2, 30. <laughs> I'm really bad at math, obviously. Let's grab the calculator. Okay, so 16 rows, probably two stitches per row. 32 plus 32 plus 32 plus 32. So like 128. So probably like 130 stitches around. Okay, let's shoot for that. And if that's too large or too um, small, we'll add or subtract. Okay, so we're going to do a start in this corner here. Let me zoom in. Hook on our yarn, pull it through, and chain up two. Okay, chain up two does not count as anything. We're just getting to the height we need. We're double crocheting. So double crochet. And I'm going to do like two. Try to go into the chain or the side of the stitch and not between the stitches because there will be gaps then and you don't want that. So try to go in the side of the stitches uh, like under hmm, where it fits. Right here's where it fits. And I'm going to crochet over this strand so I don't have to sew, sew it in later. Okay. Just like this along the edge. Okay, that's working out for me. So I'm just going to go along this whole edge. Okay, and then when I come to attach this side, I will show you how to do that. But just double crochet across here. Try to count your stitches, make sure they're even across, and uh, make sure to have the same amount of stitches on the front panel than the back panel. And I will do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have just crocheted along this one side here, okay? 
either the front or back. But from across here, wherever my hook fit really, I was able to get 64 uh, stitches, 64 stitches across here. So now we want to make the band basically attach the front and the back. So what we're going to do is just continue. Once we get to this corner here, we're going to grab this piece. Okay, and we're just going to double crochet here and then I'll cross basically this side all the way across here and then we'll attach to the beginning once we get that. <clears throat> Hope that makes sense. Here, so there. Let me back up. <laughs> there we go. So we are going to connect the front and the back piece. So to do that we're going to yarn over, okay, go into this corner and just make a double crochet. Just like that. Whoops. Not like that. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There we go. Okay, so we will sew this closed a little bit, probably up to like here, but this is the armhole. Okay, but we'll sew this later. So now we're just going to crochet across here and then we will attach back to the beginning and then we'll be more working in spirals down to make it as long as we want it to be. So at this point I'm just going to double crochet. Since I did 64 on that front side, I'm going to do 64 on this back side. Uh, 64 double crochets. Uh, that will be even on the front and back pieces and then we'll just have that amount of stitches all the way around. Now for yours you might do more or less depending on how big you want it to or how loose you want it to be around your waist because this is now the waist of the shirt. Okay. So I'm just going to double crochet across here, 64 stitches, it'll come full circle, and once we have the full circle, I'll attach it to the beginning and I'll show you how to go on to the next row. Okay, so I have crocheted then along here, 64 stitches, and now we want to connect to the very first double crochet of this round, and we are not going to turn our work anymore, we're just going to work in a circle around this waist. So just go in, pull through and through. Let me grab my better hook here. There we go. And then we're just going to chain two. That does not count as anything. But now this is connected and it is a full circle attached on the sides here and here. So now we're just going to work in each stitch all the way around. Just working into each stitch and double crocheting. That's it. Super simple rounds. Now you can make this as long as you want. Um, uh, if you want to make it a crop top, you can end sooner rather than later, or you can make it as long as a tunic uh, that will come all the way down, but there's no more uh, increasing or decreasing or any waves or anything like that. It's just a double crochet in each stitch around for as many rounds as you want. Once you get back to the beginning, just slip stitch to the first stitch chain two and continue to work a double crochet into each stitch uh, for the next round. So just keep doing that. I'll let you know how many rows that I do when I am finished. Also all this is in the written pattern so if you want to skip ahead or whatever if I'm going too slow um, you can follow along with the written pattern that's linked in the description of this video, but I'm just going to continue to double crochet in rounds, as many as I want, and then I'll probably test it out, try it on, see how long it is, and if I'm satisfied, and then when I'm satisfied, I will come back and show you the next step. 
Okay, welcome back. I did six rounds total. Um, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I am running out of yarn, so I'm just going to quit here, but you can make yours as long as you want. Uh, when you're finished, just slip stitch to the first stitch of that round, and then chain one, and then you can cut your yarn and pull it through, and sew that end in. But like I said, you can make yours as many rows as you want. I'm just running out of yarn for that part, so I'm going to cut it there uh, and make it more of a crop top style. But as you can see, let me uh, zoom out here. You can see this is the shirt so far. Okay, this is the front. Looking good. This is the back. Looking good. Okay, so now all I want to do is just sew up these sides to about here so that I have a smaller armhole because my chest, uh, it stretched weird. When I tried it on, it stretched kind of weird and these kind of poked out for my chest. So I just want to tie these uh, together, like sew them together um, and have a smaller armhole. And this kind of comes off my shoulder like a cap uh, sleeve, so it looks really pretty. And you'll see that in the photos. So what I'm going to do with my remaining yarn, I don't have much left, I'm just going to yarn my needle with that. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to go up this side and I'm just going to whip stitch. And I'm sewing it in inside out. Okay, so we want to do that inside out. And I'm just going to whip stitch this. You can mattress stitch or crochet it together. It's really creator's choice. Um, but we're just matching up the stitches from both layers and just closing this section. And I'm just going to close it up to about probably like right here. Let's see. Probably to about right here. So from here up to here is going to be sewed closed and then I'll have this as my armhole. You can measure yours how you need to for smaller or bigger arms. Um, you can make yours as tight or small or as big as you want it. But I'm just going to do that for both and then I'll show you how to fasten that off and we'll be done with our shirt. Okay, so I sewed up both sides. I actually sewed them and fastened them off kind of like how I uh, showed you here in the center, so I'm not going to actually show you that on camera. Um, just tie knots on the top and where you started at the bottom and just sew in your ends, uh, and that's how it looks. Um, very neat and nice. And I did it to both sides, up the uh, arm or up the side here for the armhole and this is what it turned out to look like so there it is the catching waves crop top has been completed thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this beautiful top i hope um that you enjoyed the photos and you learned something from this tutorial if you did please hit the uh like button and also hit the subscribe button so that you could get the notification when we post a new tutorial for crochet this was so much fun to make and i'm excited to make my next crop top <laughs> they are super in fashion and the cool part is that you don't have to you know have it as a crop top you can make this longer as a tunic or even a dress so i hope you enjoyed that so much and a big thank you to knit crate for providing this yarn for me today all the supplies are in the description of this video so if you want to get the same yarn as me or the same uh, crochet hook and supplies you can get them online uh, easy access so check that all out make sure like i said subscribe here and i'll see you next time happy hooking